Hi, y'all. It's the Midwesterner again. People kept asking me, hey, man, when are you going to get some more rants? When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? When are you going to act like a damn fool? Well, just for that, folks, whether you love it, you hate it, whatever, you can't hurt if you're trying. So that's why I try to spread a little cheer here with my ho 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 hat on. And no, it's not December. I just felt I like doing it. So, on a serious note, though, we got a lot of stuff going on here. You know, you got to glove up, mask up, do what you got to do. Because there's only one person they're ultimately responsible for in this time of need, and that's yourself. And then there's also, if you have adolescents, children, anybody you're taking care of that, you know, that are underage that you have to nurture and care for. You have to take care of them too, and don't forget the elderly. That's my PSA for today. On a milder note, today we're going to discuss a man and his shovel. That's right, a man and his shovel. So we are in the Midwest. Jingle, jingle, jingle. southeastern Wisconsin, parts unknown. It's kind of a cool, calm collective. Birds chirping, whistling, woodpeckers going. I see coyotes looking at me. It's about a 59, 61.5 degrees. But where I live, a lot of people who know me, I have the, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but the privilege of living in front of a, a DNR uh, wetland. So when it rains for days on end, this is what happens. The flood of spring. That's right, the flood of spring. As you see, I got my handy dandy Farmer Fleet galoshes. We've got to have a pair of them. I mean, I could put a Nike swash on them and they'd be some, some, uh, Air galoshes, huh? How you like that? With a Santa hat. So, I've been sitting here, and it's raining and raining. It's flooded. It's got, it's got me all shipwrecked here. Can't, can't get to my table, you know. Uh, I got it marked. Uh, three days, uh, last past weekend, when it rained for four days straight, believe it or not, it was about old this high. And it wasn't moving. I was like, what the hell? I got to do something. Ain't no one going to help me but my little old self. And everybody that knows me, you know, I got a bad foot. So it's going to take me a little bit to shuffle along. And as I was told today at my, my work that I have a wrist like a tree branch. But that gentleman shouldn't talk because, you know, he don't like to get dirty and, you know, he buys uh, uh, Air Jordans and, and shops at Macy's and you feel me? Big Lou, you know what we talk about. Anyway, so I had to get this moving. It wasn't moving. So I went up and saw Mr. Shovel. Hey, Mr. Shovel, we got to do some business moving. Or we're going to be screwed. It wasn't moving. So what did I do? In my fine hillbilly wisdom, I started digging. I started digging. Started to make a trench. It started moving. Look at that. Woo-wee. It's starting to move quicker than a drunk man after he's got a pee after drinking a 24 case beer. I was like, damn, this is the quicker it's mess. So then I'm like, damn, it still ain't moving quick enough. So I come over here. Hopefully you don't bust my ass. I'll be talking to you from the bottom of the river. And I was like, damn. So if you would have talked to me. Oh, maybe uh, 20 minutes earlier, this here was all branches and twigs and people throwing stuff. So I had to go get another tool. That tool, my friends, is a machete. You gotta have a machete. The rustier, the better. So I went in here like Crocodile Rambo and chopped it all up. That's right. And now I got that song of this going. Like it's the freaking White Rapids or something. Well, it ain't deliverance for good. So yeah, that's, you know, no, that's about it, you know. 
trying to make light of all the situations going on. And, you know, hopefully we get through this together. And, you know, if you want to get away from the invisible boogeyman, which I gave name to the corona, you can come out here. Ain't no corona going to come out here. I don't think invisible boogeyman knows how to swim. So, anyway, y'all have a great weekend. And I, I hope I made you laugh, think, think I'm nuts, crazy, whatever. But you know what? Let me tell you something, brother. Life's too short. Feel me?